Good afternoon, my darlings. It is um, the weekend of Mother's Day, it's Saturday. Um, my lovely lawn man has come and done a beautiful job on my yard. Very lovely young person. And um, I, don't, I should ask if I could use his name. Um, he does a really good, I have a huge yard. He's, he does a lovely job and uh, thank you to you. Was here this morning and it looks like uh, favorite niece and favorite great nephew next house down at my uncle's doing some yard there yard work there and then she's promised to come cut down this oh gosh i missed it she did cut it down <laughs> sorry favorite niece she's been here done and cut that tree down here in the front of my yard so i'm gonna go down there and harass them for a couple of minutes and then we're gonna go do some uh thrifting a couple places we're gonna leave town so that uh we just can uh enjoy the experience so let's get our thrifting on Okay, we are going to go across the street. It is a stormy and humid day, but <clears throat> hasn't rained so far. It's, you know, besides that, I mean, it's spring and everybody's out. It's very busy on this road. There's a lot of stuff going on this weekend up and down um, Highway 6 here. So I'm going to go across the street. You probably know where I'm going. And we're going to go do a little shopping. I'm going to be picky today. I'm looking for some different kind of stuff. I got a, I don't know, just to itch for something different. Now you get that once in a while. So let's go see if we can find something different. table there a lot yeah a lot and I have been looking for these super let's keep in mind also I am looking for some barware to fill that one space that I have um, I have that uh, caddy I want to find some something to put in it besides what I have. And I have something very similar to this at home, two of them. We're gonna snag that up. Awesome, awesome. The place is just doing booming business and I'm so excited for her because she works so hard here. She's done a wonderful job and I wish that had its top. It's pink frosted and freaking fantabulous. Yeah. Looking for that. <laughs> Made in India. That's kind of different. I like that. <laughs> that seems to be a hot commodity all so, the time. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Anyway, thank you. Thank you so much. Take care. Oh, you know, I love teapots. I think. Made in USA. It's nice. Kind of dropped in on their conversation. I like to hear people talk about what they bought because they're excited about it. I am loving this. Here. It was the off of the Sunbeam mixer, and that was made by a company so way back in the 30s. Some lovely crinkle glass. I looked at these. I can't sell this stuff. I've tried to. Maybe that. Except for that's broke. That's the problem. But I can never sell the silver or gold leaf. I don't know why. Is it Libby? Loving those. Oh, those are fantastic. I've got too much of that stuff. So pretty. Oh, oh, 
Does it have a chip? I think I've looked at it and it's got a chip. Let's see. Because if it doesn't, it's going to come home and live with us. Not seeing any chip. Except for maybe the one I've just put on it. Oh, it's fantastic. Look at that. I love that color. So I've looked at these Jim Beam bottles before, you know, these decanters, and I like them. And it's something different, and I think I'm going to go for that. And I think I might go for that, even though the little shot glass is broken, too. OMG. We are so getting that out of there. OMG. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That... It's fantabulous. It's for tea. The whole thing, you put the hot water down in here. No, you put the hot water in the pot. Yeah. The, a candle goes in there to warm Keep it. Keep it warm. Okay. Cool. All right. There, I got educated. Thank you. I'm liking that. No, see, that's, you know what? That's what I love about this business. Because it may not be, it may, this time it's me educating you maybe a little bit. But a lot of times it's my customers coming in and going, I collect this, and this is what I know, and this is a good piece. I already got it. <laughs> there you go. You know? I'm liking it. I'm liking this a lot. I like that stuff. So I'm in here, and I'm looking at this fellow, and I like this fellow very much. Quail, pheasant, peacock, but look at that back there. That foss is pretty darn cool, too. So we're going to pull that out and have a look at it. You did bring me in. Really neat. My auntie having something like this when I was a kid. Yeah, this is cute. This is super cute. Look at this, and it's still got some of the nail pieces in it. It's so cute. And I'm going to check out this little bag, too, because I think it's from the 70s. Oh, she's got some great little kitschy bead purses and things like just so cute. A bunch of little treasures in here. I'm loving it. We're so getting that. Oh, that's so coming home with us. Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. Check out these frogs. Oh, I gotta have them. I don't know where they're from. And the glue is kind of funky. But, oh my God, they are going home to live with me. Yes, they are. Isn't that cute? I, c I collect those uh, ball pitchers. It's a pack package of laundry bluing. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, it's, it's a repro. It's a repro. Too bad that. Pretty darn cool. These are funky and fabulous. Is that Fiesta one? Pretty cool. It's Anchor Hawking. Yeah. Anchor Hawking. Very pretty. And we are coming back down here. One of my favorite hotels, of course. That's what was broken. I wish it wasn't because I like that. And I have a green one for sale on my eBay. You should go there. I think I'm finally going to break down and buy all of these here. She has eight. And put them together with a uh, caddy. I, have. I think, yes, it's time to do that. We will go over there and look at those. But it's going to be lots of steins. I'm not looking to, you know, buy a whole bunch of stuff today. I guess just looking. Is this it? What is that? Hmm. Ooh, ooh, it smells like liquor back here. Who took my breath away. Little elephant's got to go. I must step away. <clears throat> I got drunk one time when I was a kid on this really awful... Um, what was it? Uh, Yukon Jack. Who? Yeah, I can't even bear the smell of that stuff anymore. Cannot go near that stuff. Ooh. That is fabulous. Fabulous. I wonder if you can... I don't know if you can get that out, though. I don't know if I want to risk it. That's got... It's either a crack with some rust in it or just some rust, but I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to clean it. Very pretty. How lovely is that? Hi.
Yes, and how's the really sand in the line? Is this sweetened glass? I, I keep having customers drive by it and go, they're doing this! No, it's made in Taiwan. I don't think that that is sweetened glass, no. I don't know if it's black or amber. It's very pretty. It's so cute. to it so we're gonna have to see what we got going on here always has all the best salt and pepper shaker assortment oh look at this look at this I'm thinking maybe if it's not is that big break in it oh shoot darn that is a big break in it oh shoot darn okay I'm sorry, you almost found a new home, buddy. Oh, oh, a little anchor hocking orange juice with lid, and that is definitely coming home with me. I love those. I got one home. Actually, doesn't have um, orange or juice in it. It has uh, pink lemonade. <laughs> treasures for today. Love the old pots. Love these. Love them. Love them. This was my mom's tried and true right here. And you can't go wrong with that inside or out. Great coffee cup. Coffee pot. Cannot go wrong with that. I'm not seeing too much more and my back is starting to hurt so I think we're gonna we're gonna ring up firm in here it's lovely I found some great things and there's a couple other things up here I'm thinking about getting as well okay. so the trunk is cute um, I think I'm wanting the anchor rock up there and those yeah here we are over at Becky's, and look how bright and happy this little set is. Oh my gosh. It's left in. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a picker upper right there. That left in is great. Okay, of that left in canister set there, that kitchen set, I got the uh, salt and pepper shaker and the. Um, napkin holder because everything else had some pretty significant chips in it and I'm going to come over here and look at these ashtrays because my hairdresser collects and I like to see if I can find anything kind of offbeat and cool for I did pick up that treasure craft piece for last time I was here so yeah hopefully my finger isn't in the way here and on the hunt for one more of those uh goblets or tumblers so I can put it in that uh, caddy I have at home. Great decanters. I like that gold one up there. We got two. I think we're going to stop with two and, and leave it at that. And I do believe this might be oh, I'm not sure. It doesn't mark it. It's Duncan Miller. Yeah, nice. Nice. So I don't see, ooh. Check this out, and it comes, comes with its box and everything. How cool is that? Now, was it made like that, or is, no, it was made like that. Okay, so the paint is not coming off. It's got a little cork stopper and the box. I think we might have to get that too. So I've got this thing in the hand. <laughs> so oh, I like the little dual candlestick holders. There are the taper holders. Those are kind of neat. It's Abingdon. That's why I'm drawn to that Abingdon. I just don't know why, but there I am, and I'm, they're 
gorgeous. I'm not saying I like that much, but I do like those. What else we got here? Oh, I have matching large tumblers for those clear glass ones there at home. Um, it's on sale uh, on my eBay page with a decanter. Cody2071. Go there and find it. It's pretty neat. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Sure, no problem. <laughs> Isn't this a great place? Oh, I love this place. She's always so good to me when I'm here. I do too. Great. She's got you sold off most of that that she had there. Lovely stuff there now. I mean, my, if I would love to find more awesome hats, hat boxes, or another one of those matching automobile tumblers. Yeah. Lots of linens. If I had time, I'd sit here and go through them all. I love linens, but I just, I can't do that today. And we know I love the rubber grapes. Ooh, the candlesticks, yeah, pretty neat too, fancy smancy, and it's a cute little set, some Francoma in a color I have never seen, no maple, but I like that. Tiki stuff, I think. Is it supposed to be cheeky stuff or not? Maybe not. This is great. Okay, so I've got a couple things I gotta pick up here. So I will be right back. Moving along. Um, yeah. These were really cool. Really neat. I like those. Oh my gosh, it's tiki goodness. And it's going to go home and live with me forever. Yes. Pictures galore for sure. Really nice ones. This is that little one. It's got some optic effect to it. I kind of like that. That's different. I like the bottom. That's pretty cool. I do pretty good with pictures. I like this one from 19... It looks like a 76. 1976. Commemorative... Probably. It's not in too bad a shape. Not too bad. These are what I remember from when I was a child. Federal glass, I do believe. Federal glass. If will wear is your thing, here is the place can't get into the pink depression which I like the glass there but I'll get that another time we're still scanning around I'm looking for another one of those little um, automobile cars the cups tumbler whatever still looking for a very tall chimney something more along the lines of taller than that for my great-grandfather's lantern that I broke the chimney on nobody still knows I've done that yet so shh Although I'm never going to find one. Not seeing much back here that I'm wanting. I do like this pattern here. I saw this before. And I have got way too many of those and way too many of those in my house, unfortunately. I like the color, but it's kind of washed out on this one. Pretty neat. Some more of the Pyrex. There's something Melissa would go crazy over that big purple platter back there. <laughs> Some cute little things back here. We'll go. Oh, look at the little boudoir lamps. I have a set of those at home. Paul here, and we'll tag it on with my thrifting video for today. Um, I, this is stuff I picked up at Goodwill and Salvation Army last week or earlier this week. Some lovely Shango here. Um, very pretty. Got a whole bunch of that. Got the soup bowls, the mugs, 
the saucers, the salad plates, and the plates. I don't know if I'm going to piece it out or if I'm going to just sell it as a set. I think I could sell most of it as a set and then piece out the rest. We have this, um, oh, four, the four seasons here. Got two different seasons. <laughs> this is the autumn, I think. No, uh, late autumn bouquet. Yes, autumn bouquet. And I have a whole set of the plates, the dinner plates, the bread and butter plates, the berry bowls, the salad bowl, or the um, and the super salad bowls. Um, I could sell that all together or separately. I'm not really sure what I'm doing right now. This is a this is a different part of that series. It's early summer. I have three of the salad plates there. You saw me pick up these Francoma mugs oh about a month ago, in um, um, Goodwill. Pardon my shipping mess over there. <laughs> And my dogs, as you see, my red dog is up and moving. He's doing really well. Thank you for everyone who asked about him. I appreciate that. We have some coets. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, canisters with lids. And I did pick these up. These are lo This is a lovely barware. I really like this. Uh, forgot the maker. Culver. I should have remembered that. So that's really nice. I like that. I have bought this little teapot and cozy a while back I think at Becky's over in Wyanette got that Riki or Rishi I'm not sure how to pronounce that I have a lot of this on my um, eBay right now the tumblers and some really awesome purple go goblets I'm fixing to um, put up the dinner plates that I have love this little I don't know is it a mug is it a goblet is it a vase candy dish without a lid i'm not really sure it doesn't it's rounded on the top so it doesn't think it has a lid but i like the look of it and of course a little amber chalice there so that's what we got from uh goodwill and salvation army this last week and there's red dog feeling much better 